James McAvoy has finally ended speculation over his love life as he confirmed he recently married his American partner Lisa Liberati. The Scottish actor, 42, was rumored to have wed the personal assistant, 42, in 2019 just a year after meeting, but until now had failed to be drawn into questions on his relationship status. But speaking to The Guardian newspaper reflecting on his identity he confirmed they recently got married, six years after he split from his ex-wife Anne-Marie Duff. And although James is a leading light in the acting world, when it comes to his home life he prefers to keep things under wraps but he has shared some snippets of his new life with Lisa. So what do we know about the Scottish star's love life? Let's find out. Coupling up the X-Men actor and Lisa first hooked up in 2018 after they met on the movie set of Split in America which James had a starring role in Lisa was working as a director's production assistant. Although they have shied away from the spotlight they occasionally share some cute shots of their themselves on Instagram, such as the one they posted together at a fancy dress party to announce their relationship. Former Flame It is the second time the leading actor has wed after he called time on his marriage to actress Anne-Marie Duff after 11 years together. The pair were co-stars on hit TV show Shameless and went on to have a son, Brendan, who is now 11. The couple shared the same values on their privacy and chose not to pursue a life in the public eye unless associated with their film careers or supporting charitable projects. He said at the time, me and Anne-Marie, when we were together, it was our policy not to speak about each other in public. We rarely broke that and if we did, it was for tiny things, yes, we are cooking turkey this Christmas and that policy still stands. Even separated, we're still respectful of each other and committed to doing that publicly and personally," he explained. London Love Nest the actor took a significant step to downsize from his former one. 9 million London home to set up with Lisa in a cozy city apartment. The pair moved to the modest apartment in July 2020 and ended up spending lockdown in their petite pad. He later revealed that the couple had all their belongings packed up in their spare room and eventually managed to move to a bigger house once lockdown was over. He said, we are in London and it's all good. We've just moved into a nice, slightly bigger house but we were in a tiny flat before. Round about April we built a makeshift studio in my spare bedroom. Our only spare bedroom which was full of moving stuff was rammed and just full of this James made recording studio. James and Lisa had hinted that a move was on the cards when they were spotted strolling hand in hand and looking at London properties including a £3.5 million house in September 2020. And when they do find their perfect pad the couple have hinted they would be happy to put their stamp on the place as they are avid fans of French mansion restoration show Escape to the Chateau culinary delights during their time in isolation, James didn't go short of sweet treats or tasty home-cooked dishes. The Atonement actor watched on as his now-wife made cakes and even donuts for the pair to feast on during their lockdown days. Sharing a snapshot of her creations on his Instagram account she also turned her hand to delicious Jamie Oliver-styled dishes. James also took his turn in the kitchen for a stint on a special series of Great British Bake Off for Stand Up to Cancer. At the time he penned, excited to be part of it British Bake Off or at Sutu Cook I've been a fan for years and watched most seasons so it's an honor to be baking for such a great cause.
stateside second home the Philadelphia-born beauty has since taken James to her hometown and the Scottish actor acknowledged the stateside city is like a second home to him now. The actor has also taken on an entirely different supporting role from the sidelines of the Phil Union sports team. Sharing a shot in the team shirt and baseball cap, with the stadium and pitch in the background, he captioned the post, Let's go at Philonian.